Shalom, this Levi Shore. Welcome back to Sweet and Good Torah. We got Rabbi Mordecai Darwish from the gates of Mordecai. We are so close to Tisha <laughs> All right, We got a big debate. I am pretty nervous. <laughs> I think this is going to be super scary, Tisha B'Av. I really believe there's a great possibility of Iran and Hezbollah and the Houthis and just like all out attack on Tisha B'Av. What do you think? Nah. No snakes only attack when you're not looking. Uh, only when you're not looking. The day we're only really when you're not looking. It. They're not. Okay. They're not. They're not going to call their shot. Okay. They're All no right. Babe Ruth. All right. So we're going to take a look at like what's going on with Tisha B'av. Why is it so scary? What's like the root? of like all, you know, the destruction and, and, and the sadness that we have on Tisha B'Av. And then we're not going to leave you hanging. We got the solution. That's the key, right? We got the way that we can get out of this mess. And we're going to have a, you know, nice happy Yomta, which we're going to turn it into. All right, so let's start out here first. So we're going to go into Eicha. We're just going to do the first line. Okay, I may regret doing this. Wait, I brought up the, let me see where it is. I may regret doing it. I don't know the tune so well. <laughs> I'm no, no, do... no, no tune. I'm no doing tune. it. I'm doing it. No, no, I'm doing it. Are you ready? Here we go. Echa yashvavadad ayir rabasi I'm high sa I'm high sa kiamana rabasi vagoyim sarasi b'medinos high sa. Lama. So if you know how to sing it, it's probably way off. <laughs> but okay. But it's like we sing the sad tune on, on Tisha B'Av, and it gets us in the, you know, the feeling of mourning and crying. But what what's it saying? So we're just gonna go on this real quick, and then we're gonna go on where's the where's the original place where we have the Echa and the Torah, and what's what's the problem? Like what's the root of all our problems? But it's saying here that uh, Echa is kind of like here it says alas, but it's kind of like in a way, it's kind of like, where are you, God? Where's where's God? Where's Hashem? Because now we just have this city. And it's it's Badad. Yashva Badad Hayir. The city is sitting all alone. And kind of the Jewish people were finding yourselves more and more alone these days. You know, we got this horrible attack on October the 7th, and uh, no one wants to play with us anymore. They don't want to let us come to their parades anymore. And, uh, you know, not many other people are coming to um, to mourn with Israel right now, you know, and, and not many, you know, I don't know how many nations are rushing to uh, defend Israel. If there's this massive attack, we'll see what happens. But uh, we were great. It says it says that we we were we were robbers. You know, we were we we're the great city. We we're the great people, the Rabasi Am. We were the great people. But now we're like a widow. You know, now we're abandoned, forgotten. And our husband, you know, Hashem, our great protector, has left us. You, you can, you want to say anything about this, or uh, mm. no, not, not yet. <laughs> okay, so, and then it says Rabasiva Goyim, and I'm sorry, but Goyim Sarasi. We are like the, we are like the royalty. We're the aristocracy among the nations, but Medinos among the nations, we were the royalty. We were the princes, but now Haisa Lamas. But now it's been given all over to taxes. And we are now a tribute of the other nations. Now we have to pay the IRS. We we have to pay the other governments that we, you know, whatever country we live in, we pay them the taxes. And we're no longer the great nation we were. Uh, you got anything to say about that? Or should I go? You want me to go into step two? No? Go to step two. Go to step two. All right. Tishbov, Echa, step two. All right. So we're going to go to the original Echa. And we're going to see the very first place in the, in the Torah. How do we really get into this mess? How did mankind? How did mankind get into the mess we're in? And it started with you know we ate the fruit from the eighth das tovarah, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. We'll go through these pasukim real quick. But after they ate the fruit, after Adam and Chava ate the fruit, after Adam and Eve ate the fruit, it says v'tipakachna ene shenehem, and their eyes were open, which is very interesting. The Yedu Ki Erumim. They knew they knew they were naked. And it, it's interesting. They, like the, the text of the Safari and Kabbalah, it says that at first Adam and Eve, Adam and Kava, they had this ketonos or their neshama was on the outside. They glowed. Like they they there was we were souls 
outside the body. The body was inside. The soul was on the outside. And they glowed with light. They glowed with like this divine light of the cotnos or, or with an olive. So they were glowing beings, you know, gl glowing creations. But once they ate the fruit, now the body came to the outside. The soul was now hidden in the inside. And they were going to need cotnos or, or with an ion. We are going to now need clothes. We, we were naked. The, the soul's hidden. The neshama's hidden. The body's on the outside, and the body needs clothes. It's embarrassing to walk around with just the body, you know? And says, Heim v'yis peru alei te'ena v'yasu lehem chagoro. So now we had to make clothes, and it says, you know, they 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 sewed together the fig leaves, and they made clothes. And we make clothes. People don't realize we make clothes out of either flax, either plants. We make the fibers of plants. We make clothes. Or cotton. Or we, or we take... Uh, you know, we take the uh, the hair off an animal and we make the clothes. And now we needed clothes. Now we weren't these beautiful, cool. glowing spiritual creations. What do you want? To, what do you want to say? No, they wool cotton. Oh, uh, wool. I said wool. Ground, so yeah. Wool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right, so then it's Vayishmu es kol Hashem Elokim misha lake begun, and they heard. The sound of God. They heard the sound of this infinite being, Hashem Elohim, and he was walking around in the garden. And what does that mean? What does it mean an infinite being was walking in the garden? What does that mean? <laughs> no. That doesn't matter. Okay. Get to the point. Get, Get to, to the, the point. point. All, right. All right. Infinite being walking around. All right. Just, you can go to the next one. Okay. <laughs> so that, so the Ruach Yom. It was a windy time of the day. And they hid. And Adam and his wife, they hid before Hashem, Elohim. They hid from God among, and it's literally the tree of the garden, right? The tree. What tree? The Eitz Chayim, the Eitz Das. They, they're hiding behind the tree. They're embarrassed. What are they hiding from? They're, they're, they're embarrassed of the Avera they just did. Hashem gave them one mitzvah, don't eat from the tree. They ate from the tree. They're embarrassed. They're naked before Hashem. And here we go. And then it says, Vayikra Hashem Elohim El HaAdam. And Hashem, he calls out to the man. He calls out to Adam. Vayomer Lo Ayeka Echa. Same letters. Ayeka, where are you? Right? Where are you? And it, and, and it's And it's Hashem's call to all of mankind. I created you all to be close. I created you all to have a relationship to be close to me. Where are you? Eicha. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Tisha is not the way it's supposed to be. All right, you want to jump in? Are we there yet? Or are, we, or are you waiting? <laughs> Still not there. You got one more line Not to go. there. One we got to go to the line. next step. I'm, I'm walking in this line. journey. Ayeka, where are you, man? <laughs> where are you? All right, so we're going to the... Okay, so that's the problem. Let, can we define the problem? One can more we, line. Oh, you want me to go to the next line? One, one more line. And then tie one it all more in. line. And then we're going to open up the floodgates of wisdom here. One more line. Here we go. Okay. So then he says, By Yomer El Kocha, Shemaiti Bagan. And he said, I heard the sound of you in the garden. Adam, Adam saying, I heard you, Hashem. I heard you moving around in the garden. Vaira, and I was afraid. Ki erum anochi, vaechave, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid. Okay, you want to keep right. going or you want to jump in now? You yeah. uh, uh, one more, one more. I I know, and one it's more. good. It's good. It's good. With you know, it's one it's, more. Well, this it's is a good one. Context. This is yeah. a good one. This is a good one. And yeah. He says, "Vayomer." Yeah. And Hashem says, Who told you you were naked? And he says, and here, and then the root of Amalek. And the root of Amalek. And he says, Hamin eats. And it says, Where is the root of Haman? The evil Haman Arasha? Hamin eats, because you ate from the tree. And there is Haman, the birth of Amalek. Because you ate from the tree, I right, now I messed up the uh, the thing here. <laughs> okay, because you ate from the tree, 
Asher achal mimeno achalta. Because you did you eat from the tree? Amin ha'etz asher sevisicha. I commanded you not to eat. Did you eat from it? And that's the problem. Yeah. And then, then, then he All blames right. his wife. <laughs> All, blames right. All right. So what do so you got? We got, a, we got a few things here, right? So God like talks to to a man as if uh, he's on man's level, right? So so it says uh, and the way that a man wants to go, they 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 lead him. So God's yeah. talking to him like like Ayeka, where are you? Like it's, he's playing he's playing like hiding and seek with God, right? And God's talking to him on his level just to start speaking with him. Right, because obviously God knows where He is. Right, if He's all all present, all uh, knowing. Right, He's everywhere. Right, He's the Ansof, Ansof, the one without end. What, why is He even asking Adam, "Where are you?" Right, but Adam plays along. He's like, "Oh, oh, I, uh, you know, I uh, got embarrassed. I, I saw I was naked, so I hid." Well, where did exactly does Adam think he's hiding from? Like, if God is everywhere, right, He's Ansof, then you can't hide from Him. So, what are you hiding? What did the sin do, right? And that's what you get in the next verse. What did the sin do that caused Adam to think that you can hide from God? The sin, that, that's what God deludes them. Did you eat from the tree that I, I told you not to eat from it? Or he's still playing with them, right? He wants them to admit it. Like a chuba to, to, to say, hey, I was wrong. I messed up, right? And, and you're like, you're like you alluded to, he doesn't, he doesn't admit. He blames on his, uh, his wife, and his wife then blames the snake. And, and the, you know, the, the, the whole uh, chain reaction. But the, the idea is that is that is that God plays along with the person in the in the manner that the person fell to. So he talks to him where he's at. Right. He doesn't talk to him like like, you know, God really is right that we know. And this, if you don't, if you're just reading a, a superficial reading of the Torah, you would never understand it. OK, and that's the whole idea. The whole idea is that man sinned. And he distanced himself. He, he became stupid. He didn't just distance himself. He became stupid. He became dumb. He became unintelligent, okay, to who God is, to what the purpose of life is, okay? And that's what sin really does. Sin destroys a person's ability to think correctly. Yeah. Okay? And, 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 and the more humanity realizes this, the better off they'll be. But the problem is they don't realize this, and they just blame the next, the, the, the most immediate cause, right? The wife caused me, and then she blames the, the snake, and everybody blames the most immediate cause instead of, you know, going back to the original thing is, I left you, God. I left you, and let me return back to you, right? And that's the whole theme of Ayeka, Eicha, is that, is that the Jews, the Jewish people, were supposed to bring this enlightenment, this understanding to humanity, have lost their way. They've, they've followed the ways of the nations, and they've lost you know, the, the true way back to God. And that's why we need to follow the Torah and get back to it. And uh, the Midrashim say, is like, is, like, is like, why did it happen? Why did the destruction of the temple happen? Because they left my Torah, you know, and uh, God says, I, I'll buy, they, they, they leave me and return back to my Torah because the light within it will bring them back to me eventually. And yeah. so uh, we, we, we have <laughs> really all the secrets to humanity in these, <laughs> this word Ayeka. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so, right. It's crazy. It's, it's, it's this, misperception of the world here's the secret we could be immediately redeemed right now but we're not perceiving the world in the right way hashem's our god we're hashem's people like you know like we are deeply attached on a level that no one can break if all the nations of the world every single nation in the world right now if they brought their armies they brought their tanks their planes their nuclear weapons their you know whatever they got and they will, we, in the future. and they will, and they will, and they, stay tuned, and they will. But but it's like it's this misperce misperception. All we simply need to do is the desire to be back in the land, the desire to be close to Hashem, the desire to have the temple, the desire to have the Shekinah live within our midst again, and then we'll all have this huge estate in, in the holiest land in the world. We'll all each family will have this huge estate, and what's holding us back? Echa. This misunderstanding that Hashem is all powerful and that the Torah gives us the clarity, like you're saying, the per clear perception of the world. And unfortunately, Avera gets everything foggy. And now we're being like, you know, ruled over by the other nations and, and, and we're trapped. And it's, and it's a simple change in perspective. Tears, simple tears on Tisha B'Av will flip the whole script. 
like if deep from our hearts, if we really cry, if we really do, if we really get it and we really cry, nothing holds back the, the tears. All the gates of prayer are open to tears. Nothing can shut it out. Not all the angels can shut it out. And then Hashem flips the switch. And all it takes is us wanting to be close to Hashem. But Avera, as we oh. saw with Adam, Avera makes us feel embarrassed before God, naked before God. It makes us feel distant oh, from God. It right. makes us feel but, stupid. It makes us feel, feel dumb. We don't know who God is. We right? feel dumb. We feel that. We, we are dumb. We are dumb. But, we, are dumb. but we, got, we got a special gift. I believe it was written by uh, Yeshua ben Nun, where he wrote half well, of combination. it. Combination. Yeah, they wrote. Sure, did, Moshe, did, did Moshe write? Who wrote? Who wrote? Um... No, half half was Yeshua and half was Achan. Okay, so here's. Oh, right, Achan. Right after he messed up and took the the treasure. Okay, All right, so here it is. We say it three times a day, and this is our secret, and this is our secret to to how to change that perception back to what what the reality is. And it says Elenu l'shabeli adonakol. It's upon us to praise the Lord. Who is, you know, like Lord of Hakol the master of everything. He's the master of it all, right? Lasais Gadula Liotzer Bereshis, like to give, to give greatness, to give him the praise right. of greatness that he formed everything, the universe, the earth, everything in it. This powerful, infinite being, the Ain Sof, he, he formed everything. Do you want to read it or what, what do you want? How do you want to do yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. He didn't make us like the nations of the land. Of the land, plural. Velo samanu kemishpachot adama, and he didn't make us. He didn't place us like the families of the earth. Shelosam chavkenu kaim. He didn't give our portion like them. Velo vegoalenu kechol amonam, and not our uh, inheritance or our our uh, future, like like the rest of them. Shem mishtachavim lahev avarik, because they bow down to. Vanities and emptiness. And they pray to a God that won't save them. Right. Their perception of God or their, their the God they're praying to, they kind of make it small. They make they make God small. They literally, some people even make God into a man. You know, they don't have the perception of this all-powerful infinite being, knows everyone's thoughts, knows what's in everyone's heart. You know, nothing can stop, you know, you cannot defeat or stop the infinite being. But he loves all mankind, and he created everyone to be close to them. And they have a misperception of it all, you know. And they pray to emptiness. Yeah, they yeah. pray They pray to sports cars. They pray to mansions. They pray to celebrities. You know, that's what they worship, right? And in some ways, that's what people are going around worshiping. When we should be praying and worshiping and thanking this infinite being that's giving yeah. us all life every day, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So we bow down, we bend the knee, we give thanks, we give praise to and recognition in front of the King of Kings, um, the Blessed One be He. That He spreads out the heavens and, and keeps them in their place. And He found, gives foundation to the earth. And his sort of sort of speak, the place where he sits is in the heavens above. And the the divine presence of his power is in um in a very high place. Right. If I can just say one thing right here. So like right yeah. in Shema in Shemayim, in the heavens. So like no one down here on earth, like we have Bechira, we have free will. And unfortunately, like we're not always following Hashem perfectly. There's some people, they pretend Hashem doesn't even exist. You know, all this nonsense, right? In Shemayim, there's like legions of angels, like the Rambam and Mura Navuki and the Guide for the Perplex. He says incredible things like the stars each have a name. There's a Malak attached to every star. Like the planets and the stars, they all go in their heavenly orbits. The the, the Malachim, the ten different kinds of angels, they're all following Hashem's command. So in Shemayim right now is his true, like his value is 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 true um, in Shemayim right now because everyone's following Hashem's command. There's no rebellion against them. Unfortunately, here on Earth, it's not it's not that way yet. Like the whole you Wait, know. Where did he get there yet? 
Okay, 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 okay. I'm building it. I'm building it up. Going too far. Okay, here. Are you, you, keep, much, going. Are you yeah. keep going? You keep going. All right. Um, who Eloenu Veno the Hair? He is our God, but Eloenu comes from the root of Elohim, which means power. He is our power, and mm. there is no other. We have Ain't no. Other. We're powerless without him. Enod. Enod. Emet Markenu Veefesuato. Right. The truth of our King, mm. and there is none. Like or his or his kingdom is it his kingdom or is his uh no yeah. king he's our king oh our king our, 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 there okay, is our no king. other power like him okay our king like it's written in the torah and you shall know today and you shall bring it into your heart because this knowledge is not enough you got to actually believe it and have faith in it and you know really feel it the Yud Kevavke, the, 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 sp the spelling of God's name, as you see it, means mercy. Hu Elohim, He is the, the 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 true judge and the the only power in the world. Mimal, in the heavens above, Valaris Mitachat, and the land below, Ain Od. There is no other. Yeah. So if you don't understand that the Ain Sof. See, this is yeah. when people get confused because they see the different writings of God's name. You yeah. see the Yud, the Hey, the Vav, the Hey, and then they see the, the word Elohim, and then yeah. Aleph, Dal, Nun, Yud, and Shin, Dal, Yud, we're going to see later on. Is, 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 those are different aspects of the way he, he interacts with, with, his, with his creation, which, which is humanity. But there is no other power, meaning like because he's Ain Sof, he permeates everything in reality. There is no other power. He is the one and truly... Um, right power uh, only power uh, unified in every single thing in existence right. ain't owed there is no other right because he's the answer the one without any borders okay and if you don't understand that you don't you <laughs> you have no idea who you're dealing with right no i mean like okay. right when he acts in the aspect of a sham of mercy and compassion like the god that brought us out of egypt is the same god as elohim when he acts in his aspect of justice and and judgment and din like the same God that destroyed the temple on Tishabav, and it's all one God. It's infinite, you know. So there no matter, there is no other power. No other power. That's it. Right. Right. Know it. That, yeah. that's that's the key because when we go to the next paragraph, we're going to build on that. Yeah. Because there is no other power, Al Because of this, I will await for you. You know the or the, hope the, or this is the real. This is the oh, real tikva. Yeah. There's other people yeah, pushing a tikva. Right? There's other no. people pushing a tikva in a secular government, but this is Israel's real tikva. This is Hashem is our, Hashem's our hope. Hashem's our hope. Ha tikva is right. Hashem. Yeah. yeah. We're hoping, we're waiting, awaiting, right? For him, um, Lirot Meira Betifer to 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 see quickly your true power, the beauty of your power. La vir guliminaret to 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 take away the false god in the world. Vadim Karuchi cartoon. And those false gods will, will be totally obliterated. Yeah. To fix the world <laughs> and the kingship of, <laughs> of of the Lord who said who told the world enough. Right. So this this one's really <laughs> okay, so we'll get there's a lot of aspects here. So Elilim so when someone makes an allele, when they take God, when they take L, when they take God's aspect of chesed, of kindness, of love, and they add another L to it, they make they want to make God into an allele. They make him small. They make God into a man. They make a statue of a man. They make God small. And that's not that's not the essence of God. That's not the essence of Hashem. It's all-powerful, infinite being. Gilulim, I'm not as... Um, do you understand... Like what they're doing in a gilu, gilu. It's like it's like, it's like, it's like disgustingness. Um, a g yeah. Galala comes from like like the uh, yeah, the word it's for a, excrement. So yeah, so people are doing there's there's some things that people are doing like disgusting things, and trying to say that's holy, you know, like you know, there's I don't want to go too into it, but they 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 make disgusting things and they try to make that you know holy. Yeah. And then, and then the you know the most the most uh, misquoted you know misunderstood. This is the concept of tikkun olam. This is the concept of fixing the world. 
but it's fixing the world with a knowledge, with the Malchus Shaddai, like the Almighty, the All Powerful, Hashem who has made the Simsum. So here's an interesting little little interesting thing. The Gematri of Shaddai is three fourteen, Pi is you know three point one four. You know, so it's related to the uh, you know the uh, the radius or diameter of a sphere, and Hashem, in a sense, like took the the or ain sof the the infinite light, his holy light, and he kept contracting it. It's the power of that contraction, where he hide Hashem hid himself in the world to make to create the world to create the olam. He was helam, Hashem was hidden in the world through the simson, and then the tikkun is now to reveal the hiddenness of Hashem's light in the world. And that's the real tikkun olam. So through learning Torah, doing the mitzvot, gamil schazadim, acts of kindness, this is how we reveal the simsum, we reveal the hidden light of Hashem in the world, and that's the real tikkun olam. Not going to go too, yeah. more, too much into it. Enough said. Enough said. All the children of flesh will call in your name. Right, all humanity must recognize is one. That's mm. where all the history, the six thousand years of history, are leading up to. Uh, they're leading up to the revelation of his oneness that everybody will call out in his name. And everyone will turn to you, even the wicked ones, mm. all the wicked ones, and on the on the face of the earth. Mm. They will recognize and know. Everybody. On the land, for, to you will bow down every knee. All the um, the tongues will swear by you. Okay, left. Lefanecha Adonai Eloenu Yichuvi Yiponu. In front of you, our God and our Lord, will they uh, bow down and fall? Ve'lechotimcha Yekar Itenu. And for the honor of your name, they will give glory. They kablu chulam et ol machutecha, and they will all take upon themselves the yoke mm. of your kingship. Mm. Right now, just now, the Jews are taking on their service of the Lord, quote unquote, by keeping all the commandments, keeping by having to do the commandments. Um, and the nations of the world only have to do seven of those commandments right now. But in the future, everybody will uh, learn to serve the Lord the right way. Mm. And you will reign over them quickly, forever and ever. Because really, kingship is yours. Not anybody else's. No, there are no other kings in the world. You're the only one. And forever you will reign with honor. Like it's written in your Betoratecha, in your Torah. God will reign forever. Mm. And it says that God will be king over all the land. And in that name, God will be one and his name will be one. Right now he's one, but most people don't know who he is. So they call him by all sorts of different things and they get confused. And just like, just like Adam sinned and he like, you know, put uh, stupidity and, and uh, the opposite of knowledge into himself. So does humanity in the future. Humanity will know the truth and everybody will call God by his real name. Yeah. Right. So here we're at the 10 minute warning. So, right. So this is it. This is, the, this is it. Like, this is the secret. Like, this is the secret. This is the cure. This is the fix. Like, so, right, October the 7th, unfortunately, like Hashem acted towards us in the aspect of Elohim, and it was scary, and it was din, and it was judgment, and it was heartbreaking. And we're facing this, like, very scary, I mean, you you, you say not so scary, but but I, I think it's a very scary possibility of this massive invasion from Iran on Tisha B'av. And so here, here's the choice. Like, we have this choice that we don't want Hashem to act again in this aspect of Elohim and Din and judgment to us. But the beauty is it's only one God. So if, if we turn our hearts to Hashem, if we open up our hearts, we do Teshuvah, we cry out, we just want to be close to Hashem, it all switches. 
And then all of a sudden, instead of our enemies attacking us, the aspect of Hashem, you know, he, he acts he acts in the aspect of compassion and mercy, and then it's our enemies that are going to, or our enemies do Teshuvah. Our enemies will see the power of Hashem at some point in history. Yeah. You know. Because the point the point is not not to get smacked. It's not yeah. to stay away from getting hurt. The mm -hmm. point is to do your job. Right? Mm -hmm. Like Bill Belichick says, do your job, man. Just do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. Let everybody else do what they got to do, and everything will be fine. You start worrying about, you know, oh, I'm afraid of getting this, and then you get paid, and I don't know what's going to happen, all that stuff. That's that's for other people to do. That's not for you to, to worry about. You yeah. worry about what you can control, right? You control your thoughts, your words, your actions. Worry about controlling them and doing what's in accordance with the Eitzachayim, Eitzachayim, the tree of life. The tree of life is Torah. Unfortunately, people ate from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And knowledge of good, good and evil, yes, there's knowledge in it, but it's filled with good and evil parts, and that's everything in this world that we see. It's filled with good and evil. And so a lot, most people fall to the evil side because they don't know how to discern what's good and what's evil, right? So you can use food for for good uh, health, but or you could use it for, you know, delicacies and, and um, you know, distancing yourself from God and they, or you can use um, anything else in the world, right? You can use a car to, to get to where you need to go, or you could use it for racing and for showing off and, and, you know, going down that path. Same thing with money, same thing with love, same thing with anything in the world, right? Every, because the world is um, eating from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And we are, we are instructed to eat only from the tree of, of, of goodness, which is the tree of life, the tree of the Chaim, which is the Torah. Right, and then and the Eitz Chaim, the Eitz Chaim, the tree of life, the Torah. Right, it's all tov. It's it's only good. We don't get this mixture of good and evil, so we we get rid of the evil, and the evil goes away when it's like right when the world sees just the Or Ein Sof, when they see this infinite light, when they see there's this infinite being that's created everyone with love, that wants to have a close relationship. Then the Echa goes away. Then it's not where is you know where are you God. Then God's everywhere. Where aren't you, God? Where, where, so I, I, there's a beautiful, I think it's the Kutzka Rebbe. It's a beautiful, beautiful idea. And someone asked him, he says, you know, I think, you know, was, whenever he lived, and, you know, there's, there's horrible tragedies happening. It's like, you know, where's God? Where's God in the world? And he said something really beautiful. He said, he says, when you open, I, I, I don't know the exact quote, but he's saying, wherever like, you let him in, whenever, wherever you let him in, wherever you let Hashem into your life, into your heart, then Hashem fills the world. So it's simply just us letting him in. Let Hashem in. You know, let, you know, Hashem, there's no other. It's one infinite being. He's created everything. He's constantly keeping everything created and, and alive. And we can turn the tragedy into the greatest celebration. This day is not supposed to be a day of mourning and destruction. It's a day of celebration. It's a Yom Tov. And it's going to change. It's going to flip. Mashiach's born on this day. Out of the destruction, and who's Mashiach? This is great leader that's going to teach us the wisdom of the Torah and open up everyone's hearts and and see that Hashem's everywhere. You know, see that Hashem fills the world. All right, well, give us the, the real glasses that we need. Yeah, we need the better glasses. We got to take off these. Go. Get the better <laughs> glasses. <laughs> it's it's interesting. Uh, when Clark Kent turned to Superman, he would, you know, he'd take he off. off his glasses. Take, but maybe, maybe it's really Clark Kent's really Mashiach. Maybe Superman. We're all trying to be Superman, and then maybe got to put on the glasses, and then Clark Kent, you know, is Mashiach. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. Who wow. knows? Yeah. Well, what are glasses? Glasses is because your vision has lost its focus. Yeah. And it's glasses bringing them back into focus. So yeah. if you really do have, do possess the superpower, and then you don't need the glasses to get you back in focus. You yeah. are in focus, you know. Yeah. So that's that's what the that's what the future will hold. It holds that humanity will reach that focus point, and the focus is on God, right? Yeah. The whole world He created for His glory. Right, everything was created for his, the revelation of His unity, and when humanity understands that, then they they'll, they'll strive towards it. But right now, they're not striving towards it. They're striving towards the acquisition of things, right? Which, which um, Shlomo Melech called Hevel, right? Which literally means vanities and, and like vapor and nothing, right? And uh, there's a verse in the Torah that says, 
they will go after these vanities and they will become vain. They will become stupid. They will become like, 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 like you know, coarse, un, unenlightened beings, right? It's vain. What is vanity? What, what is vainness, right? Like, it's just yeah. like the outer appearance of something and, and the, the emptiness of it, of its, its true essence. Yeah. No, I mean, we can get lost. Like people, you know, can ch you, you chase after physical pleasures, chase after money, chase after fame, you know, and, and that's it. And people, you, you know, can take yourself out of the world, Cosmo Sean, but it's like, we got to just see the world clearly. We got to say, Eicha is about when we see it clearly, then everything, then the sorrow, then the morning turns to celebration and laughter. All right. Any last, uh, any last that's comments? Right, man. You didn't tell him. You didn't tell him to strike, like, subscribe, and share. Hey, well, on. that's I'm, I'm letting you set it up. I'm letting you set it up here. <laughs> right, so, so if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, no, hopefully even you... if they didn't enjoy it. Oh yeah, if you, maybe you know if because you didn't, if like they it. didn't enjoy it, then they can get the conversation going, right? Yeah, yeah. If, if, if you just enjoy it, it's like okay, I enjoyed it. Uh, there's no conversation about it, right? <laughs> we agree, right? Yeah. But when you disagree, there's conversation. There's some there's some kind of like back and forth going. So even right. if you didn't like it. Subscribe, like, and share it. <laughs> All right. So if you liked it or if you didn't like it, give us your comments. Let us know. You know, let us know how you're thinking about it and help us out. Even if you hated it, help us out. Why not? You know, like it, share it subscribe it if you hate it you can tell all your friends oh man this drove me crazy tell them why tell us why it drove you crazy and tell all your friends about it <laughs> okay but uh you know but uh, we hope you did enjoy it and we hope to see you back again soon on well, sweet and good torah and the gates of mordecai <laughs>